Hello, everybody. We are live on the Lamley YouTube channel. Welcome. This is the first of what might be many viewer request videos. I put a little post out in our in the Lamley community section here on the YouTube channel and asked you for some ideas. I read through them. You can still put some ideas in that post if you would like to. And, um, and I will go ahead and read them. But there were some for my favorite Hot Wheels, for my favorite Matchbox, for the top 10 Tomica Limited Vintage, uh, top 10 Auto World, you name it. There were all kinds of great ideas from you guys. And I'm going to try and honor some of them, not all of them. Um, but, uh, we may be having some time over the next few weeks to go through some of these videos and for me to do some live feeds, some produced videos, uh, you name it. I'm hoping to do it. I'm hoping to give all of you something to watch. This is also gives me something to do. I have been on lockdown too. The, uh, my job, my work is, uh, has told us to stay home for the next week or two. And, uh, that may be longer, maybe shorter. No one knows. But I think we all uh, need to do all we can to uh, eliminate the spreading of this virus. Um, I have some loved ones in my family that are highly vulnerable, and uh, I want to make sure that I'm not uh, doing anything to spread. So that means I'm home with my family. They're doing their projects. I'm doing mine, and one of them is doing these videos for you guys. So uh, this is the first of the viewer request videos. They'll be a little bit longer because they're live. The live videos tend to be longer. And um, I'll do some produced videos, like I said. I will have some preview videos coming up. Uh, H-Case highlights, H-Case unboxing. Uh, I've got two Matchbox previews to come up. They, they were able to uh, send me some stuff before the Matchbox team. And all of the Mattel teams are actually gonna be working from home moving forward. So I don't know if I'll be getting much new product after that, but if I do, I will definitely showcase it. I'm gonna do the RWB, the RLC RWB is slated to be on sale in the next few weeks. And um, there's some other stuff, uh, actually based on some conversations I've had today that uh, will be very exciting uh, in the coming weeks as well. So uh, all of that's being worked on. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to the Lamley channel. I'm hoping to give you everything I can. Let's get to it. Tomica Limited Vintage. now. Let me just say this right off the bat. One of the requests, and I saw it several times was, and I've seen this request a lot in the past, is, hey, show us your top 10 Tomica Limited Vintage. I've actually had people say, show me your entire collection. One of these days I'll do a video like that, but I cannot tell you how difficult it will be, consider, excuse me, considering what it takes um, to open and then bring out the models, put them back, get them out of display. They're very, very difficult to, uh, and I've got, hundreds if not over, well, a couple thousand. I don't know how many I've got. I tried to do the math one time and it'd be very difficult. They also come in different scales, as you can see in the background here. Um, and um, But one day maybe I will, but for now I can do a top 10. But here's the thing, there is no way to do a top 10. It is near impossible. I'm a collector of Tomica Limited Vintage because I love all of the Tomica Limited Vintage. One of the great things about Tomica Limited Vintage is the diversity of the castings. From the very exciting, like this Ferrari F40, to maybe the not so exciting, maybe a little bit more of the bland street car, like maybe this uh, Cedric of Glory or something like that. It's primarily Japanese cars because Tomica's out of Japan, but they have uh, ventured into Europe a little bit. Uh, nothing in the United States, I don't think at this point, I don't know if there's any plans for that. But the fun of collecting Tomica Limited Vintage is collecting Tomica Limited Vintage. It's putting these models together. So trying to take out 10 is near impossible. So I'm gonna do the best I can. I'm gonna come up with the top 10, but I'm gonna show you some other things as well. And we're just gonna celebrate what is an incredibly cool brand. So you guys can see I've got several scales here and off to the side I've got even more. I'm gonna focus the top 10 that I'm gonna show you today. And I said top 10 right now, it'll be, you talk to me in a month, it could be completely different. But I'm gonna pull 10 out of these cars and I'm just gonna go with the standard cars, um, the standard size, they're all 164 scale, but I'm gonna go with the standard size cars because I've got my little turntable here to the side that will walk through those. But before that, honestly, some of my top 10, if I had to go with it, are the larger scale models. So I wanted to show you some of those first. Now, there's already a couple here in, uh, in, uh, in the background, and we'll start with this one. This 
is the Hino, H-I-N-O, five car hauler or five car, five car carrier. It is a two piece model. I actually, if I'm gonna move this up here, you can see I actually put, because am I flexing? I'm flexing. Um, the four carriers as the background here. This is the fourth version. There are four of these Hino HE36 tractor and Antico, I'm not sure, ASZ 022 car transporters. This was the fourth. That one in green was the first one. It is by far the hardest one to find these days. Um, and they do go for quite a bit of money, but this latest one is the orange one. I brought that one out. This Hino is one very, very cool model. Now I'm gonna take these cars off for a second because I wanna show you kind of how this works. That has the cab, the Hino cab, which you can see is highly detailed. There's a place for side mirrors, but I don't put those on. This, uh, this little piece here moves. Um, just like any uh, any cab would have. And it has this trailer that actually functions as well. You can see from the back side here, and by the way, very detailed. You pull this back, you actually lift this up, this one goes down, and this piece will lift down so that the cars, I'll put, oh, and it actually has this piece here, so it actually will stand so that the cars, oops, can drive up and uh, move to their proper space. And then once the cars are there, this fits in and sits up. And then other cars can go down below. And there's slots for them. And then that trailer can go. You can see how cool that is. I'll try and get this Alfa Romeo out of here because it will be uh, shown a little bit later, as you can probably imagine. So I'll get the Mercedes off of there. So this would be one that I would actually put in my top 10, but I'm gonna go with the smaller cars anyway, is this fantastic Hino hauler. We'll put this in the background right there. Number two is the Atlas hauler, which also totally functions. A lot of you have seen this one. There's three different colors of this one. This is the first version. It has a total functioning bed with the hydraulics. I wanna be careful with this uh, super silhouette. It also serves a purpose. So maybe we'll use the Porsche. So this one can actually move up. Bed closes. And you can see this one is also, if I hold it up here, highly detailed down below as well. So that one, and this one is, was a more recent release and has been a highly, highly desired model as well. Let's move this right here, just for fun. So I'll put this right here. But I ain't done with the big stuff. I wanted to show you some of the other scales. The Hino trucks, they've done a very, they've done a series of Hino cabs. So we could call these maybe honorable mentions. How about this one? This is the Shell Tanker. Oh, you guys wanna know the prices. Okay, well, it all depends. Japan Booster is where I get most of these from, and they are a Lamley partner. They do send these to, to me to show to you. But for example, that tanker, I looked on eBay recently, and the cheapest price I could see was about $400. But no one's buying them um, because they're, I think that's listed too expensive. It's just so rare at this point to see one at a more realistic price, which is probably about $150 to $200. Um, you're just not gonna see them that often, but they do pop up occasionally, and if you do, I would definitely buy them. Um, yeah, the, these haulers are incredibly expensive, partly because they're so desirable. This one's gonna be about 100 to $150 as well, partly because um, it's older and uh, harder to find. But when you're talking about the details, this brand new was gonna be, I think is about $60, just because of the craftsmanship that goes into it. And you can even see, I mean, it's, it's highly detailed on the bottom. This is this is 164 scale at a completely different level. It's not about comparing these to Hot Wheels or Matchbox or anything else because they really are their own thing. I mean, just look at the detailing on the 
on the cab, on the front of the cab, on the grill, all of these separate pieces, but done so well, they don't break or, I mean, you, I could definitely break this, but uh, they're really well done. They roll smoothly, as you can see. It's a pretty amazing brand. All right, I recently showed some of these, but I wanted to show these too. This also goes, I wouldn't even call this honorable mention. I'd call these right up in the, towards the top. This is the Hino, I don't know if it says down on the bottom here. This is also, this is a Hino KB343 fire truck, like a hazard truck. You can see that the cabs, if I put these here, the cabs are gonna be similar because they're from the same model or from the same style, but to obviously the truck itself is very different. You can see the detail on these and these are perfectly to scale. So as I always put it, if an RX-7 were parked next to this fire truck, this is exactly, in real life, this is exactly the size difference of the two. So this, you can see it's got all the little knobs on it, all the little details. The hose here is like, is rubbery. You can see that. Um, you guys are, a lot of you are lo looking at the prices. So if you want to look, look in the live chat, you can see some people are putting up the prices that they're seeing on eBay right now or on other auction sites or other sales sites. Um, but you can see all the details here and like even up the top here with the uh, horns, with the lights. So when we, a lot of people think of Tomica Limited Vintage, they think about the cars, they think about the Ferraris, the Skylines, and we'll get to those, but this may be the real gem, but they're very difficult to come by and I feel very lucky to have them. I've been a Tomica Limited Vintage collector for a while now. So um, a lot of cool stuff to collect, but these fire trucks are amazing. So let's put the shell truck here. Let's put this hazard truck next to it. And then if you remember, here's where it just gets bonkers. Boom, the ladder truck. I'm gonna keep it here somewhat in the distance because I've been trying to show how amazing this ladder is, how long it is. I can't even keep it in the shot. There's the front right there. Um, <laughs> you can see like right to the camera. You can see how long this ladder is. And uh, total, it pivots all the way around. Well, almost all the way around. Yeah, it does all, all the way around. And then this one, just like the other hazard truck, is super detailed. Three axles. It's got the double tires in the back and the front. The single tire in the front has this, whatever those pieces are called that steady the truck when the ladder moves. Even little details like the axes and the picks attached to the ladder. Rubber hose as well. See, it's rubber, moves around. All the little knobs you can see in the uh, cab. You can see all the details in the cab. These are so fun to get out. So when someone said, hey, top 10 Tomic Limited Vintage, I was like, well, I got nothing better to do. And I love having these models out. Now, this one also, it's going to be upwards of $150 to $200, I think, if I remember correctly. Maybe some of you guys can look up Hino Ladder Truck. Um, on eBay and tell me what you're seeing price and, uh, pricing on that one. Um, there are actually, this was the A version, and I brought, because this is fun, the B version as well. There are actually two of these, and there are some subtle differences. Number one, the deco on the door. You can see that one, it has the lettering in white. And this one, these are actually based on actual trucks. This one has the lettering in gold and has some door trim. Also, this one has different lights on top. Um, you can see these are kind of more of the siren style. And then this one has like these kind of blocked lights. I don't know what the proper term is, like I said. But um, yeah, there are two of these ladder trucks. I wonder if um, Tomek Limited Vintage, and I'm hoping sometimes when they see videos like this, I don't know if they watch my channel or not. Um, but maybe they'll say like, based on your reaction to these, like, hey, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should put these out again. 
it would be cool if they did because you know these have not been out. This has been several years since they released these fire trucks, and if you find them, yeah, there's Evan saying four hundred ninety one dollars. That's too much. I like. I don't think that's a realistic price. To be perfectly honest, that listing has been sitting up there for, for almost five hundred dollars for this one fire truck. Um, I think that that's a little inaccurate because if you look at this, you want to look at the sold listings and four hundred ninety one. I don't think those have been selling. <laughs> so, don't think that it's a, a five hundred dollar model, but don't think it's cheap either. It's going to be a couple hundred, I think at least. So, um, but these, but if I had to say, I have, I definitely have a number one in my top 10 Tomica limited vintage. This, this truck, whether it's this version or this version would be number two. Um, just because I'm so impressed. It's one of the most amazing models I have in my collection, just all of the details. And I'll put this down here like this, how smooth it runs. It's a totally functioning, really well put together model. So those are the big ones. One more, because if you go through the larger scale Tomic Limited Vintage, you can't ignore the city buses. And they've done modern city buses and classic city buses. buses. This is also a Hino, I believe. And I pulled this one out because I like this classic styling. And you can see how detailed these are. Again, completely to scale. If you look at the uh, front of these, all of the uh, seats inside, everything is completely to scale and totally realistic. It's really hard to show the inside of these because it's a little bit darker. But the buses you can get for a little bit cheaper. Um, but again, all very detailed on the bottom as well. Um, and the wheels. The buses have not gone up like the fire trucks and the haulers have, but um, they're really worth getting to. And I just think that the details, look at those, um, look at those uh, windshield wipers, sorry. Look at the headlights. They're very, very cool. I love that you guys are all looking these up as I'm going. Uh, that's pretty crazy, but... Uh, yeah, some of these prices that you're going to see on eBay are not totally realistic, but I would maybe save those searches and watch because maybe one of these will pop up occasionally at a more realistic price. Just don't expect to um, get them super cheap. They're not going to be. All right, guys, we're going to move over. I've got the turntable going. We're going to move over to that real quickly. And... Um, um, oh, uh, Rivera is asking if I have doubles. No, I have my Tomic Luna Vintage. I don't have any replicas or, or any um, duplicates. Sorry, that's the road, that's the proper word. I've got one of each, and uh, that's all I need. I you know, I hope they don't. Uh, that's why I'm real careful with them because if I dropped one and it broke, I'm in trouble. So I just have one of each. I don't need any more than that. So anyway, some of them might be worth to get replicas or duplicates. All right. We're gonna go through my top 10 of the smaller scale cars. They're gonna come from these. And, uh, but I would say put that fire truck number two, but let's just do the top 10. We're gonna move over just here to the side. Try and make this pretty. All right. Okay, so these, I don't know how to put them in order. It's almost impossible. Um, so, but I'm going to pick out the models that I think are the top 10, at least for me. Oh, you know, there was something I'm going to do and I forgot. So we'll go real close up. One of the models I just got from Japan Booster, Tomic Limited Vintage, is the Ferrari F40. And I was going to use the red one, but I've got this new one in black. So let's start with that. Like I said, I'm not gonna put these in order except for my number one. So while that's turning, this is one of my top tens, is the Ferrari F40. I would say it is the best of the Ferrari models um, that Tomica Limited Vintage has done so far. They've got some really good ones coming up, by the way. Um, so I would say that one is up there. This one obviously has the opening parts. So you can see in the front and, or in the back and in the front. Show it like that. 
So that's the Ferrari F40. While that's turning, why don't I bring out the brand new one that was just released last month um, at the end of February. I was gonna show you the box and since I've already moved over here, I'll skip it. But that's what happens when you go live. So they produced this red one. They produced a special limited edition yellow version. I like the uh, I like the yellow version, but I think I like the um, the red version, the kind of standard red version, even more. But now that I'm looking at this one, maybe it's this one. This is the new black version. I'm looking at the wheels. They look to be similar. Tail lights. Oh man, that is good looking. Same thing, it's got the opening front, opening rear. I'll leave it at that, you guys already saw it. Look at the detail in the lights, in the headlights. This thing is absolutely beautiful. So I'm trying to go with not just, I'm trying to go with one version. And so do I go with the black or the red of the F40? It's a hard call because I just opened the black, but I really think it looks good um, in black. So maybe I'll go with that as the black F40 as one of my top 10 uh, Tomica Limited Vintage. All right, why don't we go completely across the scale and go to Japan, and let's go with the Toyota Crown Wagon. This is also a no-brainer in my top 10. And it might seem very different from the Ferrari F40, but this is a wagon that I've actually seen in person, a classic Toyota Crown Wagon, and it's got some interesting details to it. One, as this swings around, as you look at these taillights and that kind of oval shape, and I always thought they were kind of cool looking the way they did it on this. This is a 70s era, I think a 70s era wagon. Very similar to maybe some of the big land yacht wagons that uh, some of us in the United States had as kids. Um, kind of similar to that. Um, but I also like how it's got the front headlights and it has that piece kind of running along the top of the grill that, um, is, on the, um, that is on the real wagon. And so when Tomica Limited Vintage announced that they were making this wagon, I was super excited. They've done, I think, four or five versions of this wagon, including a police version. But I like, the uh, of all of them, I like this white version, or I'm sorry, this light blue version the best with the white wall tires. So it's really cool color. Some of you are noticing that. And, um, and I just think this one is very cool. Hard to, come, hard to show the details on the interior of these, but... Um, yeah, and I, when you when I do Tomica Limited Vintage, like I said, one of the reasons it's so hard to do a top ten is yeah, it's easy to pick Ferrari F40s and Skylines, and I I do. They're gonna you're gonna see more here in a second, but this is the true true Tomica Limited Vintage is these true to scale, true to detail uh, replicas of cars that were seen on the road back in the day. That's why it's Tomica Limited, hence the limited number of cars that they do vintage typically vintage cars and uh, the Toyota Crown Wagon was a very common car in Japan back in the day and this version is fantastic and like I said it's totally scale. One thing I haven't uh, shared with you um, is that they want when they're going to do a replica of a car they want it to be uh, in studio. So instead of just basing it on photographs and plans and everything else, they want the actual car there so they can be as true to the details as they can. All right, let's go with the next one. How about the Lancia or Lanza Delta Integrale? So we're going back to Europe. So this one is a classic car. This is a classic European car, what rally style, Italian. And um, so this is back. So if we're going like kind of nerdy, classic family wagons, we go Ferrari to the family wagon and back to the Lancia or the Lanza, whatever you want to call it. See, I can give you guys what you want. 
Inspiration Education does not like it. Man, poor him. He threw up when he saw this. Poor guy. Man, that's too bad. Didn't mean to make you throw up. But I think this one is very, very cool. Several cars or several colors of this one. I think they've done four. Gray, white, black, and red. I think the red, the red stands out the most. And uh, this is one very, very cool car. Um, El Tincho Wolf is saying they should make the rally version. They could and they might. But ultimately, Tomica Limited Vintage is going to start with the stock versions of these cars. And um, when they do that, yeah, you're going you're gonna to get some of them are sporty and some of them aren't necessarily. Like uh, the Skylines, for example, they've just done an R32 Skyline, but it's not the uh, GTR that you're used to. It's the classic four-door sedan. And that's what's so great about Tomica Limited Vintage. All right. That's three in the books. Let's go with number four. Okay, I love this one. This one's a fairly recent release. This is the Nissan Violet. Love the hubcaps, love the color, and look at the details on this one. This one was released only a few months ago. And this is the kind of car that uh, I remember Japanese cars being all about when I was growing up. They were smaller than the American cars that I was used to. And um, I remember the little Datsun 210s and all that kind of stuff that, uh, that we're used to. And um, this one reminds me of that, the Nissan Violet. Now, this is, I think, this is JDM, JDM Spec or whatever you want to call it. This is uh, very much the Japanese version of this car. But uh, I remember this, uh, this silhouette for sure on some of the Datsuns that I saw as a kid and I just love the hubcaps very much of that era love the color and all the other details of that one pretty cool right kind of a goofy little car um, but um, again to scale highly detailed and it just it's again it's you see the violet next to the Lanza next to the wagon next to the Ferrari that's where it gets really exciting so all right next that's four man all right let's stay in japan i said i would do a skyline who's familiar with the ken mary skyline you're familiar with it from hot wheels it's one of the great car silhouettes i think um definitely one that uh is very recognizable these days but did you know that there's also the ken mary skyline van so this one is an all-timer for me older casting but if you look at the front you've seen that front if you look at the surf line which runs along the side of the car and then shoots up you can see where it splits on the second door and then shoots up over the rear wheel that is there that's on the ken mary skyline i'm trying to think if i have a ken mary I have a Ken Mary near me here to show you. Like that. That's the Ken Mary you're used to. That's This is a Kyosho. But this one is the more classic um, van version. Incredibly rare these days. I've, I don't know if I've ever seen one in person. Um... Well, I haven't seen it in person, but I don't know if I've even seen a current picture of one. Here, this is more of like the GTR version that you're used to of the uh, Ken Mary Skyline. Now you know this car I'm talking about. But if you look at this, you can see that uh, many of the same details. This is again with Kyosho. See, they're there. They're similar. Um, but I just love this Skyline van. And I think it's very, very, like, I love the rear section of it, that kind of wood paneled section. There's some, there's a Coca-Cola version of this, which is cool. A uh, bunch of other colors, like a radio station, all that stuff. But I really, really like that one. Isn't that awesome? Hopefully you're getting appreciation of just some cars that maybe you weren't too familiar with um, by showing these. And this is why doing Tomic Limited Vintage videos are so fun. Doesn't necessarily know, I mean, they're not going to be as popular as Hot Wheels, but they're kind of, they're kind of fun to do. All right, that's five. Man, I'm running out of my top 10. Okay, 
let's uh, just go completely different again. How about the Alfa Romeo Junior? Several colors of this one. This one has the single tail or single headlights. Alfa Romeo grill, which is iconic, as you know. I really like this orange version. I could have gone with green, red, white, blue, silver, but I like this orange version. And I think when, if I think of Alfa Romeo, this is the uh, body style that I think of. You've seen Matchbox do it. Hot Wheels has done it. Versions of this one. Very similar, but here is the um, here is the stock version. Someone asked if this is the sixteen hundred. Um, they've done a seventeen fifty and a sixteen hundred. I don't know if this will show up the base there. You can see they have the they have a different they have the same base for the different models. I know that's way close up, but you can read that there. So you can see also totally to stock. Now, one thing I'll say as it comes around is take a look at the steering wheel and think how small this car is. And you see how that steering wheel is actually done in kind of a brown, like wood grain style inside. Hold on one second while that rolls. Sorry, I had to answer someone. That's what when you do when you do a live video. So I'll put the Alfa Romeo up there in my top in my top ten. Again, I'm not ranking these, but uh, this is one that I really like. All right, <sighs> you ready for the next one? You guys are familiar with the Nissan Laurel. It's been a Hot Wheels. I'm going with the C130 in green. X90 is asking if I'm doing a Honda. Well, you'll have to wait and see. Like I said, this is my top 10 right now. It could be totally different next time. It could be all Civics and CRXs. But uh, this is what I'm feeling right now. When you when someone asked for my top 10, this is what I'm feeling. And this one, the Laurel, C130 Laurel, I really like. I went with the green. I could have gone, there's a white one with really cool darker hubcaps on it. But I like this one with the white wall tires. Really nice color. And again, super detailed from the front grille. You can see all the details there. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, I already showed the Atlas. Jimmy Lou from Hot Wheels is on this video, guys. You can go and bother him now. Um, Jimmy texted me earlier, and now he's on. So I already showed the Atlas, Jimmy. Uh, I did all the big stuff, so you're going to have to go back to the beginning of the video and see that because they are pretty cool. So um, I did, I yeah, Jimmy, I'm going to answer you. I did two Hinos, or I did two Hino fire, no, I did three Hino fire trucks, two ladder trucks, a Hino bus, Hino shell tanker, Hino hauler, did all the big stuff. Maybe, you know, stay on, you know, I'll move the camera back here in a second so you can see all those in just a minute. All right, so Laurel is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. This is the seventh one. I've got three more to show you. And it's going to be super, super difficult to show them because, uh, all right. How about this one? You guys are familiar with Skyline GTRs? This is the Autec Skyline GTR. Now, couple things. This is a four-door Skyline GTR that um, that is, I guess, was I was not familiar with it until um, Tomic Limited Vintage announced it. And um, if you look closely at this one, look at the look at the wheels, and you will actually see the brakes through the rims of uh, on the wheels there, and it's. This is, again, the insane detail of uh, Tomica Limited Vintage. When they do these more modern cars, and the Autec, this is an R33 Skyline, um, you can see that uh, all of the detail is there. You can see the lights look really good. Side mirrors look really good. They've done a police version of this one. I thought about that one, but I'm going to go with the silver. It's the one that I like the best. You can see the iconic uh, signature um, Tail lights there on the back too, but this is the Autec four-door Skyline. 
I only have two more. All right, I already know what my number one is, so I'm gonna have to pick one other one to be in my top 10. Let me show you the models that I brought out to possibly include, but um, they're not making the top 10 now. How about the Mercedes-Benz 190E or 190? This is one that I like a lot. I need to get a few more colors of this one. I, a lot of people don't know that Tommy Kilometer Vintage did this one, which looks pretty cool. So that's one I could have considered, but I didn't. Uh, another one that I could have considered. How about the um, the Fair Lady 2x2? Two two. Several colors of this one. This one sits on steelies, and you can see there's a ton of details on this one. And kind of a creamy white, I guess, would be the color. And you can see as it swings around the uh, Fair Lady badge on the back. I'll put that down here like that so people can see it. And that's kind of hard to see. But the taillights look really good on this one. So I went with steelies. I could have gone with the brown one with hubcaps. There's a lot of different ones. That's one that uh, doesn't make the top 10, at least this time. How about the Mitsubishi Galant GTO? This is a great silhouette, super detailed, great hubcaps. Check out the front grille, how detailed that is. Could have gone with that. This is also, this would be the, um, what was it, the Dodge Colt in the United States? I really like the olive green on this one. Notice there it's got, there's a Celica vibe to this one and a Mustang vibe to this one. Look at the taillights. You wonder where they got their influence, right? Looks very, very similar to a classic Mustang and a classic Celica, but it's the Mitsubishi Galant GTO. So that's one I considered. Didn't make it this time, maybe next time. A couple more that I considered. Nissan Cedric. This is about as bland a sedan as there is. It's got the dog dish wheels on it, but Look how detailed it is. And again, it's just the appreciation of Tomica Limited Vintage of what they do and the realism. You can't, you can't collect Tomica Limited Vintage and not appreciate cars like this one and all the details. Of course, the Cedric has uh, had a second life getting, um, getting modified here later. But I really do like this classic version. There's a ton of the Cedrics, which I could have, which I could have shown. And the last one that I'm not including, and I'll show you my top two, uh, is the uh, Mazda RX-7, the FD in black. I like this one. There's a there's a police version, white version, what yellow? I'm looking red, silver, black, black with the standard spokes. This one has the lace spokes. So someone's asking where you can get these. Go to japanbooster.com or go to their eBay store, and I'll leave a link down below in the description. But check out the details on that RX-7, how nice that one is. And now the top two. Really, I said the top two, and this is not even going to get in the shot, is that. That would be my, uh, and I'll get to that one. That's the Hino truck, but let's go of the small scale. My number two, and it's iconic. And it's so well done, and there's not very many. This is an older version, is the Porsche 911. First generation Porsche 911. They did a 912 and a 911. It's got a little dust on it. And I could have picked any color. I went with this black version. With the Fuchs wheels, with the Porsche, ba with the Porsche uh, deco there on the side. And then you can see how detailed it is in the back. With the Porsche badging. I just love this one. They're hard to come by. They're kind of expensive as well, but they did do some recent releases. They did a blue one that's very similar to this one, and they did a special anniversary version of this one too, um, which is cool. But how many, let me see how many Porsches. I'm looking at my display. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There's 11 Porsches that they've released, including two police versions. But um, I chose this black one today. I could have chosen the yellow one, the white one. Um, but yeah, that's the original Porsche 911. Pretty cool, right? 
So that's my number two. Well, I'll give you guys a second. <laughs> Jimmy, what about some silhouettes? Well, I'll just let Jimmy... Of course, that's my number one. That's my number one. That will always be my number one. I don't know if it can ever be changed. It is the R30 silhouette. I like this particular version, which is the second. There were three of this of these Nissan silhouettes that they released. I like this second version the most, mainly because of the wheels. That rear wheel is so pretty that um, that has to be my choice. Look how cool that rear wheel is now. These, as these, as you know, with these silhouettes, you can actually take the front hood off and see the engine there in the front. But these are iconic, iconic race cars, and uh, maybe one day they will uh, they will release something that will pass this silhouette. But uh, I don't anticipate it happening. Ignacio thought my number one was the number 46 Datsun 510. They never did one. Hot Wheels has done it. Some other brands have done it, but they have not done the BRE number uh, number 46. Tommy Clement Vintage hasn't, at least. So uh, you're asking, is this one for sale? On eBay? Yes, I think it pops up occasionally. I know that when Japan Booster does it, they do auctions for it because there's so much demand, and it does tend to go for a high price. Um... Yeah, the BRE is too American, says Jimmy. I agree. That's why Hot Wheels did a couple of good ones. Well, more than a couple, right? Four or five of them. Yeah, there's other silhouettes. You guys want to see a couple others? I chose that one, but we could go with... Uh, how about... Uh, not Diet Coke, but Coca-Cola Light. That's the uh, Bluebird. So they've done three, essentially three castings. They've done the, uh, of the silhouettes, which are the famous cars. They've done the Skyline silhouette. They've done the Datsun Bluebird silhouette. And here I'll show you another one of those. So I like the uh, I like the Coca Cola Light, which predates uh, Diet Coke, right? And then here's the Auto Box, which I think is awesome. They did a Coca Cola version as well. So three Skylines, three Bluebirds. The Auto Box I think is really cool. And yeah, all the hoods come off of these. Um, so that's the blue bird. Glad you guys are enjoying this video. Just giving you some time. We got plenty of time. We all do, right? And then, uh, they just recently did the Sylvia. Which, look at the wheels on that one. So two versions of the Sylvia. So we have three Skylines, three Bluebirds, and two Sylvias. And that is the army of silhouettes that uh, TLV has done. Jimmy, why don't you do this one? Why doesn't Hot Wheels do this one? And why can't Hot Wheels do these wheels? And why don't I ask you right now so you get pushed um, by all the rest of us and you have to try and answer? I mean... I don't think you can do the Tomy Clement Vintage, but, uh, you know, take that as a challenge. See, now everyone's like, yeah, Jimmy. Come on, do this, Hot Wheels. <laughs> all right, so that is, the, uh, that is the silhouette. So I've got, I mean, I could go through all the silhouettes. That's a video in and of itself, for sure. All right, hold on, hold on. There you go. So just to uh, answer our friend Jimmy's question, these are the, some of the stuff that I've already gone over uh, starting this video, which is now 45 freaking minutes long. But 
that's the point here. We can just have some fun with these and um, go through these. That's what these top 10 videos, and that's what we'll make these, let's, we'll, we'll make these uh, be about as we have time, at least for the next couple of weeks. You guys just promised me that you stay home, do what uh, we've been asked to do, and try and, uh, what is it, social distance. And uh, I'll give you guys, uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be home a lot as much as I can, and then uh, I'll give you these videos. So there is a list on the community page of some of the videos I'm working on. And uh, if you wanted to see some more of these, we can do top 10 matchbox, or we can do best of matchbox, my favorite Hot Wheels, all that kind of stuff. We'll have some fun. Maybe uh, Jimmy, maybe Jimmy, you and I can coordinate on something. We can have some fun as well. And uh, maybe you and I could talk about that later because it's nice to have you on, Jimmy. All right. Thanks, everybody. This was a fun video to do. I hope it's okay. Those of you who are watching this later that's not live, that uh, it's still fun to watch and kind of appreciate what an amazing brand this is. I will put a link down below. Um, I'm working from home tomorrow too, Jimmy. Um, I'll talk to you then. Um, but uh, I'll put a link down below to Japan Booster Store. A lot of this stuff is available, not all of it. And uh, you'll have to watch some of these that uh, don't pay attention too much to the prices because you want to look at the sold prices and you'll get a better sense of what the prices are in some of these more expensive models. All right, guys, that was super fun. Thanks, Jimmy, for being on too. It's always fun. Maybe we'll have you do some Hot Wheels stuff with us. I'm going to go cook dinner. Thanks, everybody. Bye.